Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita 1.0. We are jumping straight into an episode because today I'm going to try and go for an unlock. I've been talking to Ben Starr, the developer, and had a few little hints dropped to me about some of the things I might have done wrong on the last episode, I think it was, um, where I was trying to discover some of the secrets. So I've got a bit more of an inkling of what I need to do now. Um, first things first, we are required to find the first secret room, so be very vigilant about that. We also need to get quite a lot of HP, which means we probably don't want to trade away any of our current HP at all. Which is not something I would normally do. Okay, still no secret room. Normally the first few floors are where I go really hard on HP trading, so... Bit of a different philosophy to how I normally play. Okay, this is a very hard room. There are just a lot of traps. And it's a double waiver as well. That's good. Okay, this, this, these guys we can just kill from above. I just don't want to waste all the souls. Good. Full heal there. We don't care about going to the chest and so not having a key there is fine. Still no secret room. I don't think the secret rooms can be in here, can they? No trading at this. We're leaving that behind. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, like not trading at those. But I've been just told that I need to keep my HP. So I'm not sure if that means don't trade or just have a lot of HP. Oh wait, it could technically be here, right? Okay. Still no secret room. We have to find it. So if I don't find the secret room, I'll have to do a, a quick restart. We need to find the secret room. Still no secret room, wow. Normally it's quite early in the floor, so I'm surprised we haven't found it yet. There's our key. We always seem to get a key drop on the first floor if we don't start with one. It can't be in this room. If we see our first other hive, we know we've gone too far sort of thing. We don't need to check the shop. I'm keeping my HP. I don't want any temptations here. That's why I've gone with the shotgun, because the shotgun's pretty powerful as a base. I might even switch to the sniper if, if I feel it's necessary. Where is the secret room? Okay, that's second secret room. This will be a two-way of a room though, right? No? Yeah, that's second secret room, but... And I don't know, can second secret room come before first? Because I know it's just su su secret room and super secret room, so it's definitely poss possible, I think. Still not found it. We've not got many floors left, so... Yeah, okay, so we didn't find it. Right, let's, let's go back to the station and try out the sniper instead and uh, do a run with that, maybe? Also, we can grab ourselves an item this time as well. See about doing that. Let's grab ourselves the guiding light. I don't know what that does, but I'll take it. Right, and we'll go in here. And I'll check out. I think the sniper might be a little better for early game just because it's very strong. Cool. Let's push on through and try this out. Let's also roll a new, a new hat. See what we get. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the little frog. I'll take a little frog. Little frog. Now we've got a frog friend just sitting on our head. I like that. Right, and this time we can also take this. Uh, I don't want to trade any HP away. So I'll, I'll just take the key for now then. Yeah, I don't want to trade any HP away. We've got another challenge here. They're really good for the first floor. They're normally pretty easy. They give us quite a lot of soul. No secret room there. No secret room there. Some new enemies here. Okay. Didn't see anything in the first room. I just really like the damage this thing has off the bat. So good. Then we'll check this out. No secret room there. I don't know if, this, if the secret room always spawns every floor, but considering you need it to get to the secret floor, I would imagine it does. But yeah, I'm not actually 100% sure. Okay, this has a door, so secret room can't spawn in here. It's only rooms without doors secret rooms can spawn in, so 
We don't have to go check in this one a bunch. Good, good. And again, we'll skip this. It does mean we're going to be a little weaker for the B-Floor. The B-Floor is definitely harder. But I still don't want to take the risk. Ow. Shouldn't have been hit there, really. Definitely shouldn't have been hit there. Okay, that shouldn't matter too much, though, getting hit there. Just try and find our secret room. I'm just really perplexed where it is. Like, normally you find it really early on. Maybe I'm just wrong about where it shows up regularly. Okay, there's a door in this room. That's fair. I didn't know if there was a door in here. A shield. Now, that makes a lot of difference to us. A celestial weapon here, too. That could be a, a big boost. We'll definitely take a celestial weapon when I can. And we got the burr. The burr's really good. And it's HP plus one as well. Where, where is the secret room? Have I, I can't have missed it. I checked everywhere. This is what makes me think maybe it doesn't show up. I feel like I checked everywhere. But like, the boss is in like one room, right? <laughs> but we've not even found second secret room yet. Okay, here's our mini boss room. There's our hive. No secret room, that door. Dude, he teleported onto me. Okay. You're dead. Get ourselves another heart there. We get ourselves this. That's actually pretty good. Right, it has to be in this room. But I just don't think it will be. This is too late into the into the run to be getting secret rooms, right? Oopsie, I tapped out by accident there. Oh no, there it is. Okay, we got it. That was just crazy. I, I always thought the secret room showed up really early on. I'm just obviously mistaken. Hopefully we can flawless the boss here. I did ask Ben about making secret rooms damage a damage base to get through the door. Hey, extra damage. Nice. That's really good. Right. Curse chest as well is going to be useful for an extra item. We get B-bombs on kill. We can get some stuff. Um, enemies have a chance to explode on death. That's fine. I don't often stand on enemies on death. B-bomb is going to be good because it means to, when we kill enemies, there's going to be bees coming out. Right. So try and flawless this guy if we can. It's not a hard requirement right now, but I'd, I'd very much like to flawless him. I think it would make the next part significantly easier. I, but to be fair, I might have to. I might need the memento for something. I, I can't remember if I had it ready last episode. Good thing is, at the minute, we are getting a lot of charge on our bow. And the bow does a pretty good chunk of damage each time it hits. He's into second phase now. I still can't flawless denial every time, so it's, it's not a guarantee that I will. I've gotten better, definitely. But yeah, I still, I still wouldn't say I'm by any means sort of ready to flawless this guy every time. Okay, that definitely helped. We did a lot of damage to him there. And there you go. Okay. That's good. We got the flawless. Now we've just got to try and not get hit too much on the next floor. Beautiful. I'll heal up. We're not trading away any HP here as well. Let's destroy our hive. And then we just got to be incredibly cautious. Incredibly cautious on the next floor as to not get hit. I think it's pretty early on that the uh, crystal room appears. We could destroy something. But I don't think we want to. Guiding light, soul torches pair up with more soul and increased shot speed. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think we'll just leave what we have. I'm pretty happy with everything we have right now. Right, so we're on the B floor. Let's just be cautious. Use the bow whenever possible. The bow is very strong. Ok, 
Okay. Good, good. And there's our 6 HP. I think it's 6 that we need. I'm not exactly sure. I love the range that we have right now. Good, good. Extra damage is perfect. This is also just going to set us up good for the rest of the run because we have a lot of HP to start with. Okay, and there's our crystal door. And you explode, you explode. Careful of this guy. I am staying well out of the way of these fellas. I don't know if they can get to me, but either way, I'm going to try and stay away. Into the crystal door. So this is... Okay, there you go. It, it activated. We got ourselves the key piece. Hmm. Okay. That was not what I was expecting to get out of that. Spawns three to five pickups. Let's take it. I'm hoping for armor. No armor, but a lot of damage. Okay, so I'm guessing... I'm guessing that now... I have to go to the uh, other alt floor, which I've only been to once, bear in mind. So, not the best idea for me, really. I'm guessing that's where the other half of the key is. Um, I guess now we can start trading away some HP, right? I don't have to be super careful anymore. Which, I do need to trade some HP away, because I need items. I'm a bit weak. Extra luck. I don't know how luck affects this game, I'll be honest, but it still seems good to have. Okay, take care of you. I'm liking this fireball thing. Maybe upgrading that would be a good idea. It's quite close range, but it seems like it could be really strong. Stay up top at the minute. There's a lot of enemies below me there. Beautiful. Another chest here, but sadly, no way to get to it. No keys. We're a little lacking on the key department right now. Yeah, those fireballs are hella useful. I really like the bow for the piercing. It's very nice. And it scales with our damage too, so... It's even better when we're doing more damage. I love the fact that we've got this bee thing where we kill enemies and they fire out bees that are killing other bees. <laughs> Be genocide. Okay, onto the boss. We've got a lot of HP going into this. Another curse. Small chance to also lose max HP when taking damage. Hide your HP when in combat. I guess we'll go with that. Okay. Right. This boss, still not very good at it. I've gotten better, but we'll try. We'll try our best to not get destroyed. I really like the slow-mo the bow helps with, too. That's really nice. Just try and stay. It's kind of like Baby Plum from Isaac. I just want to stay at the opposite side to wherever you decide to be. And dash through you when I can. That was close. Okay, second phase. Second phase isn't too bad. Oh, 
Okay. That was close. <laughs> I took a risky move to go over the top there. Probably shouldn't have done. Okay, that was weird. You did a movement I wasn't expecting there. This should be it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, flawless. Nice. Feeling real good about that. Real good about that. And there's a mentor. I do need armor, though, I think, for this next area, right? Just seems like it's going to be a little hard to get. Right. At this point, we've got so much HP, I'm kind of okay with trading some stuff away. Um, maximum HP to one. No, thank you. Range is also useless. Okay. We won't trade any maximum HP away, away, then. We'll keep it all. Okay, let's hope we can get some armor here. I don't know if this floor gives you more armor because of the secret floor. I know there's a way on the fungal area to get a bunch of armor, which is probably like the intended way of getting your armor. Okay, there's a secret room. I think secret rooms could be a good way of us getting armor as well. Like I said, I just need to make sure I keep it. <laughs> That's the big problem. I'm going to make sure I keep it. Take care of you first. I did not see that icicle there at all. That was close. I seem to be hitting my bees sometimes. Is that what's happening? I hate my, my, my shots keep getting like stuck on something. I think I'm hitting my bees. Good, good. Mini chest room could be more armor. A key. Lots of snowmen are boost. I do want to trade any HP here. Increase your damage but lowers your speed. Nah. Nah. Each area will spawn an additional treasure room. That's really good, but this is all costing quite a lot. Whoa. Enemies deal less damage. Okay, one moment, one moment. I'm just gonna pause real quick. Let me just go back. I'm gonna pause one second. Hmm, okay, I do want, um, oh my God. I do want this, but I feel like trading six hearts away could really screw me over. So it's like, I don't really, I don't know. Do I wanna trade anything? I don't think so, right? All seems a bit risky, but. It's like, I want the extra shield too, but yeah, I don't know. We've still not found anywhere to place our shields yet. Okay, no secret room there. Okay, there's a secret room. That's just the mirror room, though. I will go in it, nonetheless, but that is just the mirror room, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I do have two shields, but one of them is, like, half broken. I don't know if that matters. Okay, here's one of the shield things here. Okay, take care of this guy.
I really can't hit this dude at all. And of course, in the room that I need my armor, I lose the armor. Guarantee this fails the whole thing now. Now I don't have another armor for the next room. And I guarantee it's in the next room that I need it. There it is, look. <laughs> you better give me armor, game. Otherwise, I'm really going to be quite annoyed. I'm really going to be quite annoyed. Because that was some BS enemy spawns there. That was like the hardest enemies you could possibly spawn. And I was on ice. Bullshit. Bullshit. God damn it. <sighs> well, there goes that dream of actually completing something today. That's really frustrating. The game just didn't give me any shields. I don't even know if a broken shield would have worked, but I'd imagine it would. It's just very frustrating to me. Anyways, we'll, we'll continue on with the run nonetheless. It's just a little bit of a shame to get this broken key and not be able to do anything with it now. Like, we literally... I, I, I'm gonna guess we have to get to the other half. Okay, you shouldn't be too bad. Let you do your thing. It's when the red line disappears that we need to move with that. So are we gonna do the running one now? No, We're just wigglies. That's not too bad at all. Into the anger mode. Okay, got on a bit better at that one now, knowing that the, the launch once the red line disappears. That's definitely helped me. The amount of damage this bird does is crazy. Burr? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I meant. I was going to say, did I say burr or did I say sniper? I did say burr. Good. Well, there you go. He's dead. Flawless. It's just very annoying, the amount of HP we have now, and, like, no reason to have it all. It's very frustrating. Oh, look, a piece of armor. Couldn't have used that ages ago, you stupid game. Right, let's press on the forward. Keep going. Honestly, we've got a bunch of maximum HP that I'm fine with trading away right now. Let's just go with... Um, B-bombs, we can double up on those. Four Leaf Clover, let's go with two on that. And then double up on that one as well. Probably could have got rid of Jump Height there, but I think my health is still fine for where I'm at. I don't know how good the luck is going to be, but happy to have it nonetheless. I fire it a lot better now as well. Why couldn't you give me some of these sort of enemies that just like kind of chill? Instead of very hard enemies that do not chill. Right. Take out this crystal. Yeah, no thank you on you. Those enemies can be a big pain. Oh my god. Jammed version of that guy is pretty scary. Okay, secret room's there. The bees are doing a good job. Oh, look, it's more armor. So funny, game. So funny. No, we'll get it in the next run. I don't want to get too frustrated about it. It is annoying, but we know what we're doing now, I think. I think. 
Um, increased chance of crit, yep. Let's take that. And we'll push on forward. Still got to fight depression here. I'm not sure how I feel about that fight right now. Enemies exploding after death is so nice. You very rarely get hit by it. It seems to do some chain reactions sometimes. There's a full heart there as well. There's that. We'll also open this up. Ooh, demonic wings. I wonder, I'm, I'm going to guess that's flight, right? But I don't even know how, how would flight work in a game like this. Ooh, blessed item. Um, increased damage by a lot, uh, but is lost on taking a curse. Oh, nice. Wait, oh, we keep the... Okay, We. Oh, I thought maybe we already have curses, so it'll just remove it straight away. No, it's on the next curse that we take. It's pretty easy for us to avoid curses, to be honest. Or should be. Just don't go to that door there, because that would be a curse. It'd be so funny if I forgot straight away and just went and just took a curse immediately. This is so strong. It's really annoying. This is what I mean, like... Could have gone to the other floor and absolutely slapped it and maybe got an unlock. Does this guy just corrupt enemies that he's flying above? We're on 150% extra damage here. Okay, these little buggers. Oh, the fireballs. Okay. Didn't think about the fireballs. They are very potent. My HP is still so good as well. Luckily, we can, like, keep our range from all these annoying enemies as well. Not have to worry about taking damage to them that much. Beautiful. Honestly, these fireballs are insane. I should upgrade this when I get the chance. The fireballs plus the bees are, like, a great combo. It's unfortunate that we can't use them in the boss fights. Many, I don't think any of the boss fights in this game have adds, have like extra enemies spawn with them. Or things that we can kill at least. Right, not sure how to feel about depression here. I really do not like this attack. This one's not so bad. It can be a little awkward. That hit me, okay. To be fair, I don't ever expect a flawless depression, so I don't mind. Good. And this attack again. Ah, we, we, we've got this, I think. Got to be a little more preemptive on the jumps sometimes. And the dashes. I'm getting the timing a little wrong. We only got hit once to him. I don't think that's so bad. I wonder if there's an achievement for getting all the mentors. I'm, I'm guessing there is. At least we get a lot of materials and stuff for this run. I want to try and unlock the remaining weapons we have left. I know that one of them is the rocket launcher, which I don't actually really want to use, particularly. Okay, so let's uh, remove the trampoline, because I just do not care about that at all. Jump height is basically worthless to me. Um, And, yeah, let's upgrade this twice. Can I upgrade that as well? Extra 10% damage for 0.5 health seems good. Okay, damage and stuff is all in a good spot right now. We're in the Dicky Tocky Tower now. I kind of wish, it, instead of increasing the damage, it increased how long the uh, fireballs lasted. Or, like, the range of them or something. But I'm pretty happy with what we got. I won't complain. Another prison key. We're getting a lot more of those recently. Golden Tooth is a, a pretty good one, if I remember correctly. God damn, when the champions roll in. Not champions, the cursed enemies, should I say. My god. 
Now we're getting a lot of soul as well. It's really stacking up. And Frog Buddy's just along for the ride. He's just chilling. He's just curious what's going on. Okay, these guys need to die fast. They cover the screen. Luckily, they went corrupted though. Increase damage and range. Your bullets go through walls, chain meter. Uh, let's just go with that. Damage and range. Range doesn't matter. Damage does. Just make sure I don't take any curses, remember. That was close. I don't know if that, that, that circle around him just means they're invincible. Or if that has a damage aura. Either way. I feel like I shouldn't touch it. <laughs> I feel like touching it's probably a bad idea. Beautiful. So we got this locked door here. But yeah, I think that I think that's the door that we would open if we had the full key. That's my that's my thinking right now. If we had the the full version of the key instead of just half of it, that's the door. Whoa, these guys are moving way too fast right now. Can you calm down? We could remove a curse here. I don't really care. None of our curses are that bad. It cost us HP, so I'm thinking, nah. That's the point. If we don't need it, don't bother. Okay, these enemies are always a pain. You really want to just kill them, like, in one shot if you can. Or as near two. They just go crazy. It's a lot of champion enemies. What the hell? Miss out on quite a lot of soul there, but it's okay. Before we go. Um, honestly, that's maybe okay. We get 5% to all stats if we don't dodge. If we don't um, do any dodging, which... Yeah, it's not great, but we might be able to make it work. Didn't mean to use that there. That's a bit stupid. I think some rooms like this, it's pretty easy to do that. And then here's the boss. Obviously, it's going to be useless on the boss. We have to dodge the bot on the boss. I think we're okay for the boss. It's going to be a slightly longer fight than we're used to, though. I think even with our current really good damage. The bow is really going to be the thing that saves us, I think. I'm just a little confused on what what uh, version of the bow to use. Did I get hit there? I did. Do I charge up and do that? Or do I try and go for the other version and... Um, speed use it like that I don't really know which one's stronger I'll be honest there's like one's clearly better for clearing rooms because it pierces maybe just because of the slow time factor it's better to use the other version bit of an awkward one there but I managed to dodge it somehow Okay, actually, first phase has been reasonably quick here. We only got hit twice so far. But that range isn't as good three times. Range isn't as good as I thought it was, you know. Like, we're not able to... I thought we'd be able to shoot across most of this room. We're, we're not even really getting halfway. But then again, I think this room is a little bit bigger than your average one. But yeah, this guy might be a little tough because it's a bit, bit of a harder target to hit. I mean, I always do worse this guy. But I will say... I'm always struggling with this guy because of range, so having extra range now should make this guy a bit easier. Okay, yeah, this is going really well. Even when he's doing the saw blade attack. I'm missing a few easy shots here and there, but that's whatever.
Damn it. A split shot really gets me every time, doesn't it? I don't know what health I'm currently on. I think I'm fine. Okay, he's doing some good attacks actually now. Some attacks that I can quite easily dodge. It's only really the Sawblade one I have a very hard time with. Okay, there you go. We got him. I don't know what health I was on. We'll find out in a sec. But at least that's another win. But no increase in our shard because we need to complete the secret first. No additional notes. Except our fate. Obliterate. And there you go. 84 soul coins, good to go. Let's go over this way. I might go back to the shotgun. I still really like the shotgun. It's a little more risky. Maybe I'll just do the, like the laser gun or something. We got the charge gun. I, I, by the way, I despise the charge gun. I do not like it at all. But we did just unlock our secret here. Oh, good. You're back. While you have uh, been off having fun, I've been expanding the armory. Have a look around. I mean, I can see that. Let me check the armory one more time. Just now that I've exited. Okay. Yeah, the charge gun essentially does more damage. The uh, Like, fires faster and more damage the longer you're standing still. But I don't really like standing still, so... Let's quickly go in here. Hello, sir. Hey! We got all Anger's Mask. We got the Lucky Well. And the extra weapon pedestal adds an additional weapon pedestal for quick access to the recommended weapon. Hmm, okay. That's pretty cool. So basically, like, each, like, um, every so often, like, every other run, There'll be a weapon that's recommended to get more of something, to get more of a certain material. Anyways, we'll end the episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.